What's going on everyone, Austin John Plays here, and today we're going to be going over how to get all the old verses in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now hear me out, hear me out. You may be wondering, hey, what's the reward for all this? Nothing, nothing. You don't get anything. But I looked up the script, and the script for all 20 of the old verses, most of them are pretty neat. So I decided I was going to do something special. At the very end of the video, I hired a voice actor who sounds a lot like Morgan Freeman to read all of the old verses. So if you want to, you know, follow the guide for the beginning of part and collect all the old verses alongside me, cool, go for it. But if not, then just like hearing a Morgan Freeman style person speaking and reading all of these, it's pretty dope. So, you may want to hang out for that. <laughs> it's no surprise that many people say that Ursa Luna is their least favorite out of all the ride Pokemon, that's for sure. And it, it makes sense. Ursa Luna, she doesn't move fast, she, do, she doesn't do much, she just kind of sniffs around. And if you're not hot on the trail of something, you don't go very fast. This is going to be the location of all four of them in the Obsidian Fieldlands. I'm just going to replace one <laughs> with a pin, and then I'm going to just either use Weird Ear and or Braviary to just get over there as fast as possible. And then when I'm in the vicinity, then I'm going to be switching to Ursa Luna because, well, she, she ain't fast. Also, for some reason, I like to think of Ursa Luna as a female. I didn't even realize that after you do the shaman thing, it's gonna remain as, as full flowers. That's neat. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's number 19. I also decided to do it in the order of the map and not the versus location because you might be following this and you have none of the verses, so it's better to just go map by map. So we're gonna be doing it that way. The second one we're going to be going for is going to be right over here, a deer track path, kind of opposite of where Snorlax likes to hang out. <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> I love this game. I really do. And that's, that's why you go and you explore the map all the time. Uh, I want to end a gigaton. Are you sleeping? I think he's sleeping. There we go. There's shiny Cricketot. Cool. All right. <laughs> where's this? Where's this verse? Now, do keep in mind your exact location may slightly differ from the location in which I find them. And that's number 14. For the third one, this is gonna kinda be right around where Blissey is. At the top of the waterfall. Blissey be chilling over there, right? Just chilling, doing a dang thing. Or Saluna, show me the money. Is it literally underneath Blissey? Cool. And that's number 15, done. The last one is gonna be down here at Romanus Island. At Romanus, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be near the back. Come on, girl, where is it? Oh, oh, you see it? You smell it? I got that weird camera angle jitter. And fantastic. That's number 17. Let's get out of here. Just a little bonus pro tip. Figured I'd throw it in. I have come across a lot of full odd shiny in my playthrough so far. These are just my full odd shinies. Oh, great. Now I have the baby one and the adult one. Cool. These are just the full odds. These are the ones that I've hunted for. And then I also have some in the party. Last night, I got a full odds shiny Eevee. You've been watching me for years. You finally call me live. Well, welcome. I don't do streams very often, so be sure to follow for the rare occasions in which I do. Oh! <laughs> And honestly, my best advice for just running into the full odds. Remember how in my crafting video I said that I never ever use healing items? Instead, I always just go back to camp. Sometimes beforehand, I do a quick little loop just to see if there's anything spicy going on. But every time I go back to camp, I also rezone out of the map because that's gonna then freshly generate every Pokemon there. And just being in that mindset of every time that I'm going to heal, I should rezone. I just see new Pokemon all the time, so there's that. Here on the map, there's gonna be four locations. There's a very good chance that as soon as you got Ursa Luna during the story, you may have gotten on it immediately. 
and you may have seen, hey, I have an orange thing, maybe I should head to that. So if you do that right here at the sludge mound, you're probably going to be finding that first verse. And by that first verse, I mean number nine. Located right here on the map. First, we're going to head directly south to the Gig Jaw Bog. I'm pretty sure there's a wisp like right around here as well. So you may have... Oh, is it on this little hill? Yep, it's on this little hill. Nice. Oh, that's the first one. Neato. There's also a very good chance that while you were looking for a peat block to evolve your Ursa Luna, you may have come across a few of these. I'm now going to be heading to the Cotton Edge Prairie. This is going to be the field right where the Togepi be hanging out. Hey, look, we got a Togepi. Wow, look at that. We have a Togepi, but what about a Togepi? Old verse number 13. The last one that we're going to be doing here at the Mirelands is going to be right where Spirit Tomb is. I don't think I ever caught the placed Spirit Tomb in this game, so I think he's still hanging out here. Yep, he's still hanging out here, even in the middle of the day. That's neat. <laughs> I think it's going to be right here on the ground. Oh, underneath the arch. There we go. Great camera angle. And that's old verse number two. Here at the Cobalt Coastlands, I'm going to be heading straight down, ironically, right where Norm's satchel is. Shout out to you, Norm. I know he's not real. Okay, first of all, we're going to help out our buddy Norm. And where is this? Oh, right behind the tree. Ow. It's weird that I can take damage during the digging motion. We got old verse number three. Next up from here, we're gonna be going straight to the middle of the ocean in Tranquility Cove. Not on Ursa Luna, cause she don't go too fast. This is the little tiny island that has like the super rare chance to have the Togepi evolution here. Somewhere on this little landmass, right here. The middle, the middle leg. We got a little verse number 10. I'd like to think of it as a little jingle. I got a Samsung washing machine. When it's done washing things, it likes to do a song for like 45 seconds. Not exaggerating. So I like to think of a little song when it's done. You know, nice little, nice little lyrics for the jingle that it plays. I can't be alone in this. Please tell me at least one other person watching this video has the same sing Samsung washer and knows exactly what I'm talking about. The super long song that it plays when it's done with a washer dry cycle. And then you think to yourself, you know what, this 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 needs some lyrics for this catchy little jingle. Anyways, the next one that we're going to be going for is here in the Molten Arena at Fire Spit Island. And it's going to be on the grass. Ow. So even though I know that holding B does nothing to go faster, out of force of habit, I just always hold B when Ursa Luna is, uh, is trying to find a thing. I'm like, you could do it, girl. I believe in you. Old verse number four. And the very last one that we're gonna be getting is right next to Andy's Lost Satchel. So, helping out two friends. Two imaginary friends. I hope and pray that one day when I come over here and Polian's gonna be like, hey, by the way, I'm shiny today. I should be so lucky. Neat, that's old verse number five. Next up here at the Coronet Highlands, we're gonna be having one right next to the mountain camp, so let's head over there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be right on top of this mound. Yep, sure is. And that's old verse number eight. Next up, I'm going to be taking the scenic route over here to the fabled spring. By scenic, I mean long. By the way, I guess I'm going to make a money guide because, you know, people keep asking for it. I don't know why you need it, but I'll make it. All right, at the Fabled Spring, here's the mouth of the river where the Clefairy and everyone's hanging out. I'm opposite of the Clefable, by the way. I'm on the west side of the spring, located right down here in this sort of dead end looking area. And it should be, I think, right by these trees. There we go. And that's old verse 18. Sweet. There's a very good chance that after you read one of the verses that you were like, wow, these are so long. I'm never going to read these. So happy about my blue Umbreon. Next up, right from the summit camp once again, we are going to be making our way over here, right next to Richie's lost satchel. All right, right where these Gligar be hanging out, I believe. Yep, there we go.
old verse number 16. For the last one, we actually need to make our way into the stone portal all the way up to the Temple of Sinnoh. But look, it's a full moon. It'd be a great time to go do the, I uh, did the Clefairy thing, right? Yeah, I did everything except uh, catch Terry. Making our way up to the Temple of Sinnoh. I actually have no idea where it's gonna be up here. Is it this little dead end? Yep, this little dead end. And that's old verse number 11. Is 11 like a super dope one? Uh, this is the one that has to do with uh, the peak of Heaven's Mount. Yeah, and it has to do with the statues of all the Pokemon that are here. Or were here, because you know, they're not here anymore. You can't ride a Pokemon here. That's weird. Can we ride a Pokemon here? We can ride a Pokemon, is, is this a, a Poke Ride wall? Oh no, you could ride it to over here. You know what I should do in a game that hasn't done legendary Pokemon yet? I should see if we get on top of that temple, knowing the new Braviary raising up. Anyways, we're done here. Let's go on to the next place. The last four verses are going to be here at the Alabaster Icelands. Feel free to take this screenshot. First, I'm going to be making my way to the one over here, sort of by the Icebound Falls. Oh, you're going to be in the tunnel, aren't you? I think it's in the tunnel. Right at this little dead end in front of the, uh, the little mural. Yep. Right in front of the mural. Old verse number six. Over here in the bone chill wastes, to the right of where all the Glalie are hanging out, you're gonna have this sort of mound hill range over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's a really spot on one there, Austin. <laughs> Old verse number 20. That's the last one in number order, not the last one that we're gonna be collecting. We're gonna be having one over here near the hot springs. I'm gonna be using the Ice Peak Arena fast travel point. So slow, girl, unless you're all excited by the treasure. Did I just subconsciously call the Ursaluna a gold digger? <laughs> okay, let's go underground. The underground area is gonna be located right here. Yep, there it is. Right next to Zorora. That's number 12. Would you like to live in a pasture? I bet you would. It was faster than escaping. <laughs> and the very last one is gonna be up here at Lake Acuity. I'm almost certain that there's a wisp in the exact same spot. So this is gonna be opposite of the Alpha Chime Co who's chilling over there at Lake Acuity, right next to the Sky Tumble Stone. And let's head down. Pretty close. And there we go. There's old verse number seven. That's now all 20 of them. If we go to our inventory key items and we sort them and we scroll down, we can see that we have, yeah, that's all 20 of them. Well, I guess now we should, we should do the, the voice actor and have him, you know, do all the things and read all the stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's costing me a lot of money. Uh, it was like $330 between the rush fee, the publishing rights, and just how many words there are. So if, if you just fast forwarded to this part just to hear it, Shout out to you. Uh, I know that there's some people who leave comments like, oh, I already did this, but you know, I'm gonna be here for the support. So you're the MVPs, you really are. All right, let's read this. Once there were two, and one looked upon time's steady pace, and one looked upon the expanse of space, and the two set out, the fullness of future did they seek. The world's far end would they greet. Two different paths, each walking alone, a path their own, though they walk with the almighty Sinnoh. O oh, you, who at the world's far off end dwell, I know your wish, it is my wish as well. My own beloved is now gone from me, departed to a place I cannot reach. My old companions have left me behind, their faces faded into days gone by. Still to my breast I clutch this hopeless dream. A futile wish for us once more to meet. O oh, you, who at the world's far off end dwell. I know your wish, it is mine as well. But ours are cold and endless winter days, warmed only by memories locked away. No claws, no fangs, no strength to claim. No man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. But bolts of light rained down one day. Ten times they fell. Ten times struck true upon ten Pokemon. Then to weak man did these ten turn. His strength to be and all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. 
Were not these bolts a gift to man? Were they not your almighty grace, great Sinnoh, Paragon? Ten Pokemon, the ancient hero's loyal retinue. Though these companions now are gone, their noble duty passes on to generations new. The people thank the ten descendants for their generous toil by lining vessels built to last with water clear and choice repast before the arena soil. Long and longer yet ago, Celestica was here, but folk and down alike both did disappear. In time came new folk sailing, sailing across the sea, called by their love for Sino, great and almighty. But different were the Sino that each folk did hold dear, and bitter strife and angry war were always at the near. Celestica they called themselves, the name not theirs to take, yet claim it from the past they did, for tragic quarrel's sake. So once again did our name live, though all our people gone. But even if the name endures, his heart does not live on. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching all our morrows. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrows. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, to act and not to wallow. Oh, lake and alabaster lands of ice, lake brimming o'er with rich acuity. How many seek the Pokemon that shows itself there, out to answer its words true and earn its boon through ingenuity. But should they fail to understand its words and let its questions meet with no reply, their minds will be wiped clean of memory. Oh, lake and alabaster lands of ice, depths where rich acuity goes to sink. Throughout his sui, plates lie scattered, plates with powers all diverse, for everlasting each inscribed with eternal prayers verse. Through space and time will they bear secret wishes for the universe. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river, I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river, and to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. How many bones in days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones in days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift with which I part takes a sliver of my heart. Twas long ago he earned the name Hero. He led his retinue, ten Pokemon against the Almighty Unknowable. In battle did his valiance proclaim at last the strength of humble humankind. The great unknowable approved this feat, and to its domain of no place returned. Let our wishes reach heaven's crown, the people together vowed. So they in their Pokemon bore stone to the peak of heaven's mount. The people carved the gathered stones and shapes of Pokemon, the ten Pokemon that Sinnoh shone its almighty light upon. Wintry, austere, brimming with strange power, certainly the land of Hisui bears some resemblance to Sinnoh. Here, where the ancient Sinnoh people were born, I will spend an eternity until the one with the mission appears. Sootfoot, humble root, harvest it and peel it. Broiled, baked, or steamed will do. Just let nobody steal it. Mash the root, then knead the mash, then once more heat it over. Grill it only till it browns, use ember, not flamethrower. Now hearken well and listen closely, a wise adore potato mochi. A day spent eating all in reach is no day wasted, if you ask me. The field lands rush by under hoof, as weird deer carries me astride. Companions of mine run with us in Pokemon Dash alongside. We come to stand where wind has swept and old days lay before my eyes. The memories come running through, linking this place to times gone by. Time and space here blend together and enfold my heart as I remember. The flow of time never stops, 
the past, future, and present. Space is ever-expanding dimensions. Our spirits, too, are as space. Heaven's crown, nearest to Almighty Sinnoh. Power of Almighty Sinnoh, gather a stone at Heaven's mount. Stone, let your power flow. Distort and bend the world around you. Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring. Upon his sweet winds it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Where go you when you are not here? Asked I one day the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still did I have an inkling. There is no great truth untold, it simply does not like the cold. Offer only friendship to those around you. Angering, in turn, confounds you. Sorrowing, will and woe drown you. A land once riven cannot become new. Let only peace and amity surround you. When first this land was formed, man and man lived happily, sharing all that they could see by kind acts born and warmed. One Pokemon then proposed that they should always be ready to help the humans should they need, and let their presence be disclosed. And that is why, to this day, not all Pokemon do flee when a human they do see. They leap out where tall grasses sway. Once it shone upon us all, with all the warmth of welcome sun. But now we weep, to grieve we fall, starved of light now it has gone. And some they go, despair with all, in search of it they reel and run. They quit their hearths, abandon all, and leave our lands to be undone. And when they're gone beyond recall, this land will be a home to none. This land will only ever be a home to Pokemon.